Hi, I'm Philip Dorward and I'm the chef and owner of Create Catering in the Dining Studio in Minneapolis. I've been a restaurant owner for 15 years and was trained at the CIA. Today I want to talk to you about a critical ingredient in any food service operation, and that's fryer oil. I want to share with you three practical tips that will improve the life of your oil, improve the quality of your food, and save you money. Now let's get started. The first step is choosing quality oil. Choose a sturdy oil like cottonseed oil or a cottonseed oil blend. Workhorse oils like this will give you better fry life and a higher smoke point. You might think higher quality oils are going to cost you more money, but in the long run, you're probably going to save money. Premium oils like cottonseed oil will give you up to 40% more fry life. They give you higher performance, less waste of oil and food, a neutral flavor, plus the added bonus of resistance of flavor reversion, which means your french fries don't taste like chicken. Today I want to demonstrate the importance of good fryer oil by using french fries. Whether you hand cut your french fries or their typical frozen variety, fries are a perfect barometer for proper oil selection and oil performance. Tip two, protect your oil. The way I protect my oil is I keep water, salt, and high heat away from it. We all know water and oil don't mix. Water can actually dilute your fryer oil and reduce its capacity for frying and make it burn out much quicker. So if you have the time, do like we do and thaw everything ahead of time so it fries better. Salt and oil don't mix either. Salt in your oil reacts chemically and basically creates soap. Nobody likes the flavor of soap. So never ever salt your food over the fryer. It's really that simple. Bring your fries or anything that you fry well away from your fryer, put it in your drain pan, and season it over here. Just like that. Finally, high heat essentially wears out your oil and causes quick breakdown. So don't crank up your fryer right before service thinking you're gonna reach temp faster. You're not. Don't overheat your oil. Fryer oil performs best and lasts longest at 370 degrees, so keep it there. If your oil's smoking, it means it's probably been compromised from water, salt, or high heat. So if your oil is smoking, it's time to change your oil. Tip three, filter your oil. And I mean filter your oil all the time. Filtering is the most fundamental practice for extending the life of your fryer oil. Whether you filter manually or with an automated system, filter, filter, filter. You should strive for zero sediment. This oil came out of a fryer yesterday. This is exactly what you don't want to see. Look at all of this sediment. The mindset of zero sediment can greatly increase your oil life. Left unfiltered, oil turns brown, starts to smoke. When it's in this state, things might look cooked, but they're actually not. We've all seen french fries that look like this. Brown on the outside, but absolutely raw on the inside. Now, these french fries, however, cooked in 100% cottonseed oil, are crispy every time and really delicious. So let's recap my points. Choose the right oil, like cottonseed oil. It's a workhorse oil that'll pay for itself. Keep water, salt, and high heat away from that oil and filter it regularly. These tips can dramatically increase your oil life and improve the quality of your food. For more information on cottonseed oil, visit cottonseedoiltour.com.